good day welcome this is your daily med with lady v as we are talking about faith we know romans 10 17 tells us faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of god what god says and when we hold to what god says believe it with all our heart that it is true the bible says he will bring it uh, to pass and we have looked at uh, um, saving faith then we are looking at uh, degrees of faith and uh, previously we talked about a little faith and today we will talk about uh, weak faith as romans 14 verse 1 uh, through 6 tells us uh, that uh, there is uh, also weak faith but we want to strengthen or grow our faith by going to the storehouse which is the word of god to build our faith so romans 14 verse 1 through 6 it says accept the one whose faith is weak without quarreling over disputable matters one person's faith allowed them to eat anything but another whose faith is weak eats only vegetables the one who eats everything must not treat with contempt the one who does not and the one who does not eat everything must not judge the one who does for god has accepted them who are you to judge someone else's servant to their own master servants stand or fall and they will stand for the lord is able to make them stand one person considers one day more sacred than the other another considers every day alike each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind whoever regards one day as special do so to the lord whoever eats meat does so to the lord for they give thanks to god and whoever abstain does so to the lord and give thanks to god so what is the apostle paul saying to us as believers today concerning those that are of a weak faith he says, him that is weak in the faith, receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. He says, welcome such one into your fellowship, but let all controversies concerning doubtful practices be avoided. So this chapter deals with important principles to guide God's people in dealing with matters of secondary importance. These are the things that so often cause conflict among believers, but such conflict is quite unnecessary as we will see from the scriptures. A weak Christian is one who has unfounded scruples over matters of secondary importance in this context one might say oh well i am converted and i belong to this or i belong to that but still all the scruple about eating or drinking whether it's kosher whether it's working whether it's which day you worship the lord and on and on but as we see, there are some principles, are some guidelines that the Apostle Paul give. And we will look at a few of these principles. Principle number one, a weak Christian should be received into the local fellowship, but not, you know, having this uh, engagement uh, of disputes about uh, all kinds of uh, unnecessaryness. Christians can have happy fellowship without uh, 
agreeing on the, the non-essentials. They are non-essentials because they are not essentials. Principle number two, there must be mutual forbearance. The mature believer must not uh, despise the weak brother or sister. Neither should the weak brother or sister judge as a sinner someone who enjoys other foods or the other day which they worship. The Bible tells us God has received into his family as members in good standing. Principle number three is that each believer is a servant of the Lord and we have no right to sit in the seat of judgment as if we were the master. So before one can stand to approve or disapprove someone else or to even look down on another with condescension we are only doing so to make a shipwreck of our own fate because in view of this matter or whatever the matter is whatsoever attitude one takes towards that matter of the non-essential might not even be necessary and could be so possibly wrong. But the scripture tells us God will sustain those on both sides of the argument. His power is adequate for those with strong faith and for those that have weak faith. So whether it's the day of worship, whether it is food, whether it is clothing, whatever the case may be, as long as one is a child of God, a brethren, one that belongs to the fellowship, the body of Christ, the Bible says that we should bear and forbear, whether it's the weaker one in faith or the stronger one in faith. Some great source of controversy as we see is what is it that we should eat and drink or not eat and drink with whom should we eat or with whom should we not eat again where to eat where to buy meat what day should we keep should we worship on sunday should we worship on saturday whether to be circumcised or not to keep the law of Moses or not, what to wear, what customs to observe. So in view of these non-essential scruples among believers, we find that these things bring more controversy and more argument, more than turning to the word of God so that one could build their faith but the apostle paul also tells us what is the duty of the christian in view of these non-essential scruples among believers first he tells us that we should fellowship with each other despite of our personal differences and opinions he also says that we should not despise each other. He said that we should be just with each other. We should recognize that each man is God's servant and personally responsible to God. What he or she allows himself to do aside from that which is forbidden of all. He also tells us that we should recognize that man will have their own opinion. Man will be led to do whatever seem right in, those, in these non-essentials with their own conscience. So, in light of how they see things, man will operate. 
if it's not essential to salvation nor eternal life, he said, let it alone. He says, judge no man as to the Sabbath that he keeps. Judge, judge none about allowable eats and drink. Let all live in peace for the Lord and for each other. He says, do not set one another at naught, recognizing what? That each man shall give an account of himself to God. So he said, don't use all these things to cause disruption in the body of Christ. Do not cause anyone to stumble, he says. But we must demonstrate love by giving up those things that destroy others. He says, do not use any of these non-essential to stumble or to offend or to make any man weak, either by argument or by practice. He says, we should also practice our faith before God and do not parade it before others. He says, do not contemn yourself neither over what somebody else is condemning you about that it is forgiven. Or it is, it is sorry, but that it is forbidden. What we need to do is to go to the storehouse of faith read the word of god believe what the word of god says and to have our straight faith strengthened and to trust the god who is the author and the finisher of our faith god bless you thank you again for watching please like please subscribe and please 